difficult times following the GMA couple's affair, Amy Roback and TJ Holmes acknowledge that it has been difficult for their children to accept their romance. Since their affair was made public in 2022, the pair has been quite vocal about it, which resulted in their termination. The two answered concerns concerning their relationship and other topics on a recent episode of their own podcast, Amy and TJ. A listener questioned the former GMA3 hosts about their relationships with their individual kids. The 50-year-old Amy said, I would say that we are evolving. We were friends when we first started dating, and as difficult as it has been for all of us, it's the hardest for them because now they have to view each other differently. And we have been very thoughtful, and we've taken things very slowly, and we're being very patient. However, everything is well. We wish to keep expanding upon their tranquility. Amy and her ex-partner Tim McIntosh are parents to two daughters, Ava and Annie McIntosh. TJ shares his 10-year-old daughter Sabine with Marilee Feebig. Though the kids might have had it the hardest, Amy and TJ also had their share of difficulties. Amy disclosed on the same show that she and her partner encountered significant criticism due to their relationship. Amy described the harsh response she had after the world found out about their relationship in a very open discussion about how they were treated after the affair. I was shocked at first when I found out about our relationship through my work email. The podcast host disclosed, and this was the minority, but there were some really nasty, horrible emails that included death threats, specific death threats because I was with a black man. And I had never experienced that before, and it was just a little taste of some of what I have never, or could never, or had never experienced before, and it was eye-opening, to say the very least. Later in the program, TJ intimated that he and Amy had secretly gotten married and started living together, shocking the listeners. In answer to a fan's question on whether he and Amy would ever get matching tattoos, TJ blurted out the unexpected remark. How are you certain that we haven't yet? After pausing, the TV personality stated, we'll leave it at that. Getting inked in tandem. That requires more dedication than marriage, he went on. Amy didn't contribute much to the discussion because TJ had already given more than the audience had anticipated. Should we inform everyone at once? The former TV personality made a joke, saying, We live together, we're married, and we have tattoos. Amy laughed, implying that the remark was untrue. They may not be married right now, but they've made it clear that marriage is an option. The two acknowledged on the podcast, it's being thought about. We didn't start dating just to have fun or see what might happen. Our goal when we started this relationship was to live out the rest of our days together. I'm not sure. Both of us have been married twice, Amy remarked. Before they began dating, Amy and TJ were both married to their previous partners. TJ was married to Marilee, 46, and the former was wed to Melrose Place star Andrew Shue, 56.